Okay, we're starting a new week on the house project, and my main goal this week is get the cement piers in place for the back porch. Once that happens, a lot of other things can continue on. All right, I can't work on that today, though. I don't have any materials, and I've only got a couple hours. It's almost dark now, evening. All right, so I'm gonna do something today that I've been needing to do. I've just been putting it off because it hadn't been holding anything else up. And Let's get rid of the last remnants of the old house in the addition here, the old exterior wall. All right, we've still got a window in the addition from the old exterior wall. All that's got to come out. And this is actually a big moment because at this point, once we get rid of this, the old and the new, they're, they're tied in together now, right? They're still separated at this point. All right, so let me get to work here before I run out of daylight and Let's see if that don't make a little bit of a difference here. Okay, that was progress. And with that, the old and the new are officially joined. So we're off to a good start this week. Let's see what else we can get accomplished. It's Saturday and we're back at it. All right, and the only goal for today is to get cement blocks in place for the piers. We did the pads last weekend, doing the piers this weekend. And this is number one priority period because the piers have to be in place before we can continue with the framing for the porch. Okay, so this is holding up progress, but this should go pretty easy. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Um, my dad's gonna lay the block. He's already picked up materials, did that earlier this week. And all I've got to do is just clean out around the pads a little bit. We've had some rain this week, made a little bit of a mess. One of the pads was looking a little rough. Concrete was kind of making a bowl shape. I'm not sure what went wrong there. Um, I was pouring the concrete and my Help, he was over there at the trial smoothing it out. I, I don't know if he just forgot that hole existed. I don't know what happened there. Oh, and my help isn't here today either. Um, poor fella, he's, he's fighting some demons right now. Okay, and honestly, I was thinking it'd be good to put him on cleaning out the holes and then I can go work on some other things here that need to be done that I just can't turn him loose on, okay? But that was never plan A. I know about how dependable he is. Plan A always was for me to clean out the holes and make sure this is ready, mix up the mortar, help my dad out while he's laying the block. Okay, so plan B was I'm just gonna put my help on that and then I was gonna take care of some other things. Well, we're back to plan A. <laughs> All right, so let me get busy on this, get this ready and yeah, this should go pretty smooth and I need to, do some tweaking on my line and make sure it's ready to go. And anyway, 
Let's get to work. All of the other pads turned out really well except for this one. And the way the cement is in here, it's basically a swimming pool now. It's bowl shaped and it's holding water. All right, so I need to, first of all, sop out the, the water that's in here. And yeah, it's gonna be a mess today. We've had some rain. This red clay is gonna be something which, hey, this is how you break in a new, brand new pair of pants. You get them covered in red clay. But, all right, I'm gonna come in here with a masonry hammer, break this out. And, uh, that way it can drain and we don't have such a mess, which we need it flat anyway. These are pads, they're not in the exact location, they're not supposed to be. They're just something to set the block on, then we can move the block to where it needs to go on top of the pad, and get, then get the block in the exact location. All right, with this is bowl shape, this makes it difficult to move the block around. Okay, that was a decent little workout to start out this morning with, which a real mason would be laughing at me right now for even calling that a workout. But for me, it was. Yes, I am out of shape. This is how I get back in shape. All right, so that's 25, 12 by 16 blocks, and now I've just got to make sure my locations are right on the pads, check my string, get it right. I know this side's just a hair low. After that, we're ready for mortar and piers. Corner poles are in place. This was really simple. Two by four, two directions holding this plumb. All right, so you just level, make sure it's where it should be. It is, and it's right on the corner here. And the next block down, we're going to use for corner block. Okay, nothing to do now but mix up some mortar and get going. And I did check all the blocks, make sure they were where they needed to be, and I had to take a little dirt out in places get a little more clearance to be able to move the block a little further back or whatever. But anyway, it's all ready to go now. So let me get to mixing. All right, we got our mortar mix. And this isn't the pre-mix stuff. Actually had to put the sand in here and the mortar in the wheelbarrow. All right, so now I just got to get to mixing it. And this is where a mixer would be really nice. But hey, I'm the mixer at this point. Which this isn't no large scale anything so this won't be that difficult and yeah my hose pipe blew out on me so i had to cut it down and emergency use
Okay, it's done. And so am I. I'm dragging right now. I wasn't kidding when I said I was out of shape. We got it done. Um, five concrete block piers sitting on cement pads. Brick right here. Just because this is such a narrow section with the old steps still here. I just left these. And the reason for that, once put up a piece of lattice across here, a couple of shrubs, never be able to see this. And this just provides really strong free support for the porch. All right, big slab of concrete sitting here. Okay, so yeah, we got it done. And that's the goal for this weekend. We accomplished and I'm happy. And it does feel good to just sit back for a minute. Okay, now my camera did die, battery died. And I didn't have extra batteries with me. All right, that's why it cut out like it did. But it's, we were working on the corner pillars. Okay, once we got those in place, it went quick after that. We just used these wooden blocks here with the string attached stretched the string out. We could move this down. Once we had the corners built up using the poles as a guide, corner posts, ran this across the bottom block or bottom course, and then the middle ones, we just laid them out to the string and then just moved the string up to the next course, went all the way up to the top till we were done. And everything I said last week about working more productive, being more productive, and trying to do things during the week, little time consuming things. I really should have did more on this during the week. It would have made it so much simpler today. All right, and a good example. All right, I got here this morning, I started cleaning out the holes. What, I could have done that during the week. It didn't take that long, it wasn't that much to it. And that would have just made things go that much quicker this morning. All right, going and getting all of the blocks off the trailer. We couldn't get the trailer over here, so I had to bring them all, all the blocks over wheelbarrow. Right, it wasn't that bad. It was a good workout. I needed a good workout. All right, but today would have been a lot easier if I had done that yesterday and had the blocks staged. And it would have, all of those little things I did today that weren't that bad, that were a decent little workout, well, by the end of the day, they added up. And I'm feeling it. All right, well, any of that that I could have done during the week just would have made things go that much smoother today. Matter of fact, if I'd have had the blocks staged and lines set in place and all that good stuff, we could have been done with this by lunchtime. All right, so anyway, it's done. Though. And hey, I'm continuing to learn as we go. And I'm proud of what we got here. All right, now as for where do we go from here? All right, well now we get back to the framing on the porch and so I've got to put together a lumber list this week, order up some lumber and then next Saturday we're going to see if we can't get the bottom framed out and four joists in place and um, all of that good stuff and we're just going to work our way up till we get to the roof and then this section here, it's still open, it's going to be enclosed but I'm just going to run the roof all the way down the back side of the house across this and then to the end of the porch. So that's the direction we're working in. And I don't know how many, I don't know how long it's going to take us to get there. I want absolutely everything in place before we start on the roof. So two weeks, a carpenter or a couple of carpenters out here can get in here and knock this out in a couple of days. All right, but this gets back to, I'm not a carpenter and I have a full-time job and this ain't it. So, you know, we'll just see what we get done. Okay, I, that's where we're at this week. And between getting the window out and the last of the ship lap siding between the addition and the old house and then the, the piers put in place, this was a good week, and hopefully here before too long, instead of me sitting on these steps here and us having these conversations, we're going to be sitting on the porch and having them. God bless, and have a great day.